all right everyone here we are with another video with invest for tomorrow to all the first time viewers and investors welcome to the channel to all the subscribers welcome back all i ask for in return is for you to smash that like button to let me know you watch this video and to stay tuned on in towards the second half of this video guys right after this chart analysis i have a ticker symbol to share with you guys that you won't want to miss and i also have the opportunities we caught this morning over at the discord and we went ahead and went five for five but our highest ones were home runs. We hit two home runs on the day, 20% plus on one and 30% plus on the other guys. So if that's something that interests you and you want to become part of, the Discord link is down below in the description and you'll become part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together to maximize profits and minimize losses. So BB Blackberry Limited has actually had a run. A lot of speculation was out there that this was going to start jumping up that the short squeeze was coming again and i also stated in yesterday's video that if it broke through support and the next support down here of the ten dollar range and even twelve dollar range we were going to have to watch this carefully but the bulls just needed a break through the 50-day moving average and several resistance levels to build momentum now they accomplish one of the first ones and they pull back pretty fast from that so we need to watch here what's important for tomorrow so the first thing is the 50-day moving average. The 50-day moving average is 1494. Anything below it is bearish. Anything above it is bullish. Now, it's pulling back pretty fast, but as long as the bulls can maintain leverage of staying above it, this is not tug-of-war zone, but the bulls can actually continue this momentum. Now, I always say that when there's a pullback, it's not a setback. If not, it's a setup for the next run. And we saw that here. This was a setup. For the next run so the question is could this be a setup for the next run or is this going to go into further weakness so super important to be aware of the 50-day moving average if it gets crossed and if it does the next support level i would watch is down here 1413 and then obviously the lowest point in the aftermarket hours of friday of 13 dollars guys 1301 if you want to round that down to 13 you can but super important now what is it important for the bulls to break through well it's the highest point of the day, and that's 1660. They need to turn that into a support, pull away from it, reach newer highs to pull further away from the 50-day moving average, then reach their next go up here of 1755, and most importantly, the highest point of $20. But before getting there, these first two resistance levels need to be broken through, used as support so that the momentum can continue. I look forward to seeing your guys' thoughts down below. If you think this short squeeze is not over, do you think this is a setback or a setup? for the next bull run guys i look forward to seeing what you guys think down below how it went for you today how is it looking are you still holding did you sell did you swing trade or scout this i look forward to seeing your comments down below all i ask for is three to five more minutes of your time stay tuned for that we're going to talk about the discord stocks that we mentioned this morning as well as a ticker symbol you want to add to your watch list to further enhance your opportunities after these short squeezes are done and if you learned something new, don't forget to subscribe, click on the bell so you don't miss a single video that I post, and share this with a friend so they can receive this insight as well. So the ticker symbol I have for you guys today is one that I've mentioned before over at the Patreon and here on the YouTube. And last time we caught it, it jumped up 10 to 15 percent it's pulling back down now back to those numbers and it's becoming very interesting for a consolidation or further weakness presenting itself as an opportunity we're gonna look at that chart in just a moment but before we do i want to share with you guys the opportunities we caught this morning over at the discord if that's something you want to become part of and you want to see the stocks i watch daily live updates you're more than welcome to join us the link is down below in the description to the Discord. And by joining, you'll become part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together to maximize profits and minimize losses. So LMNL, we caught this one and it gave us 5 to 10% on the day. GLMD gave us 5 to 10% as well. We caught these early and they gave us really small windows of time to make a decent opportunity, whether it was pre-market or after the pre-market. Now, RMED was one of our home runs. BNGO turned out to be pretty well. And NEXT turned out to be a home run as well. So we're going to look at these points. We caught RMED at 630. BNGO was in the sevens. 
and NEXT. We caught this one at 289. So let's go ahead and look at these charts together. So RMED, we caught this one at 630, ran up, and then it pulled back down and hit a high here of 30% plus on the day, guys. Phenomenal jump from way down here after it had pulled back from jumping first in the pre-market and pulling back down to the 640 range, 645, 642, and it jumped up to $9. That was pretty phenomenal to see that type of run so early on to start off the week and day this was phenomenal now another one was bngo i don't like hype stocks but this hype stock was moving upwards for the last several days so the momentum could have continued like i stated here i try my best to stay away from hype but it's been going upwards for the last several days so it could be something to watch as inflow and volume picks up certainly volume and inflow picked up we caught this one at 742 pretty early in the morning jumped up consolidated shot up giving a first jump of 10% plus and then a highest point of 15% plus on the day. Now, NEXT, this is one that we caught when I mentioned it at 289 on a price upgrade, jumped up pretty fast, consolidated, pulled back down close to 289, broke through it a little bit, 286, and took off to a highest point of 20% plus on the day, guys. So we hit two home runs out of the five, but every single one of them, gave us five to 10% opportunities. And our worst performer out of these three gave us a 10 to 15% plus opportunity, guys. If that's something that interests you and you wanna become part of and learn and grow through the process and take your portfolio to newer levels to maximize profits and minimize losses, you can join us over at the Discord. So what's the ticker symbol you wanna to add to your watch list? Well, NEE, -E, Next Era Energy. This is a stock I talked about before. This is a slow mover. I highly suggest doing research on it before making any decisions. You definitely want to know why this stock is good. We caught this one back at $72. It shot up to 81 and now it's pulled back down and it's back at the $72 range. Jumped up pretty fast a little bit before to 75 and it's pulling back again. So what I'm looking for is either consolidation or further weakness to go ahead and get into it. And as it pulls back more, the bigger the opportunity when you actually zoom out on this stock and you look at it from you know the last several years and decades you can see here that this chart has just been going upwards now this company has positive revenue their revenue is growing every year but their net income is becoming smaller and that's because they're innovating and they're actually trying to go into clean energy fuels they're part of the energy sector They've been known for many years. They have a huge power grid in the US market, but this stock has a decent dividends and institutional ownership is pretty high, guys. So there's some potential here to keep going to the upside based off of analysis ratings. And at these levels, I would really start doing research on this stock particularly and understanding it more, doing my due diligence as an investor. So this is not financial advice. I'm not here to tell you to buy, sell, or hold any positions that I mentioned here on the YouTube channel or any of my videos. I am just here to enlighten you guys on what I'm watching and something you may have overlooked. And I'm glad you have found it or became aware of it by watching this video. As always, guys, thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money.